you guys don't seem to get tired of this, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Alright, how about phase three of uh, Master Lock, is it tougher than fire or not? A lot of you guys said that uh, there are other weapons that uh, breacher teams carry, and you know, I went to the arms room again. You are absolutely right, there are more weapons that the uh, breachers carry. Throw, get rid of that. Um, uh, well, we'll start here. First we have, it looks like an M16, but uh, it's really a 9mm submachine gun, uh, suppressed. As you can see, and it fires a 9mm. We also have a couple of suppressed Glocks. Uh, here we have uh, 9mm. Uh, both of these are of uh, Gemtech suppressors on them. And then this one is a 45. So 9mm 45. And then the issue, our agency issues 40 caliber. This is a Glock Model 23. So if we have time, that's, that's mine, uh, I will perhaps get a chance to fire that on the range as well. Well, what are we going to be shooting? Well, through the 45, because it's subsonic, we're going to be firing standard uh, federal premium, it's called Hydroshock, it's hollow point. And because it's um, subsonic, we can take advantage of that. It should be pretty quiet through the suppressor. Through the 9 millimeters, uh, we're only going to fire 147 grain um, full metal jacket. And it comes wrapped like this. We buy this in bulk in our agency. So that's what we're going to be shooting. Now, because because the Glock and the subgun are both 9mm, uh, although I checked it out, I'm probably not going to fire the subgun. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It's the same caliber, the same uh, terminal ballistics as the handgun, so I'm probably going to fire the handgun only. Mostly because I'm lazy. I don't like to clean guns if I don't have to, unless I'm going to fire them a lot. So we will shoot the 9mm, we will shoot the 45, and if I get a chance, I might pull the 40 out if, it's, if the wet range is not too crowded and hit a lock with a 40 caliber. So again, what are we going to be shooting at? How do we know if it's tougher than fire? Tough under fire, rather. Well, again, uh, the, the plywood boards, it, it worked out pretty good. So again, I've put some chain on there. We've got some more of the same old master locks. I just put them on there. Should be pretty realistic for, you know, if uh, it's on a gate or a door or something like that. And uh, let's see if we can't shoot these off with 9mm or 45. So. It's not an assault rifle, so now we're getting more and more realistic. Some of you said that's what they always use in the movies, and so, fellas, ah, that's what we're going to use too. The problem is, I'm literally going to have to get about probably no more than a meter away in order to hit these things reliably. So, um, I'm going to have to wear my bulletproof vest, and I have a helmet uh, with a face shield I'm also going to be wearing. All right, so there we go. I'll see you at the range. All right, fellas, here's the 45. This is a Glock Model 30 45 ACP. And uh, again, let's talk a little bit about the terminal ballistics. How much energy does this handgun transfer to the master lock the moment we hit it with one of these bullets? Now again, uh, you'll notice this one has a suppressor. And 45s are really easy to suppress because they uh, come from the factory already slower than the speed of sound, even with the heaviest bullet available. And in this case, we have a 230 grain bullet, and this is a hollow point. This is not a full metal jacket like you saw. Let me see if we can get that to get that to focus for you. I hope. Anyway, the reason we have a hollow point, a full metal jacket can routinely pass through a target. So it, it passes through the target and it continues on taking a lot of its energy with it. These bullets are designed to expand on impact and we want all of the energy from this handgun to be dumped into the target the moment that we hit it. So all that kinetic energy. So here we, here we have a 230 grain bullet which is roughly 90 grains heavier than the 9 millimeter and it's designed to dump all of its energy immediately. So let's see what this handgun does when we strike a uh, bottle of coke. And then we'll go ahead and attack those master locks. So here we go. That's pretty significant.
Okay, this time we're going to be firing the 45 ACP. It's 230 grain bullet and about 925 feet per second. Again, I'm going to attack the left lock directly from the front. And then the lock on the right, I'm going to try to attack it from the, lock, uh, the top and hit the locking mechanism. So let's give that a shot or two. Well, let me zoom out here, and we will take a close look. Okay, the lock on the right, I hit him and that uh, bullet clearly expended all of its energy in that lock. Nothing passed through it. And you can see the only thing that I can see, it's still secure. And that one rivet looks like it popped out, but that lock is still completely secure. Uh, the lock on the right, I actually shot him twice. I glanced here and hit him on the top, again with no damage to the lock. It's still completely, I believe, completely functional. So uh, anyway, tough under fire uh, for, against a 45 ACP pistol, I would have to say absolutely yes. And uh, if you need to get in through one of these locks, I would say that a handgun is not the way to go. All right, I've had a little bit uh, more of a chance to look at these locks. These were hit by the 45 ACP pistol. Uh, really good hits too. Nice solid hit. All the energy was expended. So I decided to just unlock these to throw the locks away. And what I found out is enough energy was transferred to this. It's still secure. Still can't. Still not going to get into it, but the key way is completely smashed. We can't even fit the key in. And on this one, the one I attacked from the top, in fact, you can even see it ricocheted off the top and went through the board here. Again, I tried to use the key. The key does go in it, but this one, again, does not work. So enough damage was done internally to where we're going to have to cut these locks. But at least they held. Didn't allow penetration and didn't allow anybody to get access. So there you go. Well, those suckers are pretty stuff. Any questions?